Thomas, thank you. Salt Lake County looking into expanding its diversion program. Yeah, they say it's helping people with low-level crimes move forward in their lives. ABC 4's Kayla Bagerly is live in Salt Lake City. Kayla, what did we learn today? Courtney, it was just over two years ago that Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill announced this diversion program. And well, today the numbers are in, and he says it looks very promising. Minimize the collateral consequences on people so they can continue to be functional. So it doesn't have, they don't lose their job, they don't lose their housing. It doesn't have a negative impact on the economic well-being of their family. The program focuses on rehabilitation and hopes to reduce the Salt Lake County prison population. Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill says 450 people have been diverted, and out of that many. We had a, almost a 90 percent graduation rate. The program also showing to lessen the likelihood of people reoffending. That saves taxpayers dollars. That keeps my officers free, frankly, to go out and deal with the tsunami of very serious crime that we're dealing with in our communities today. The program will now be expanded, also focusing on those in moderate risk and moderate need and increasing support for those with drug addiction. And on those cases, we will file on them, but they will still get the benefit of the diversion and participate in our current model of our drug courts. Draper Police Chief John Eining says he hopes this program will become a model for Utah. And it doesn't just become a, a Salt Lake County thing, maybe this becomes a state thing. And this really becomes a model that we can use to really change behavior, get people out of our justice system, get people back into the communities and be in a positive impact in those communities. As it's expanding, Gill says his goal is to bring 10% of the cases that come across his desk through the diversion program. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News. Thank you.